Happy Halloween, everyone. My name is Dredden, and we are in Seven Days to Die with update B152. The fun pimps have added in the rest of the pumpkin stuff, so this is pretty cool. Let's go take a look at it all. Okay, guys, so here is a bunch of the things that are in this little update relating to Halloween. So right here you see this little guy. Now, um, there's a bit of a problem at the moment. Um, there doesn't seem to be a way to turn on the pumpkins. So like when you're looking at them like this, come on, you cooperate with me it looks like it has a light in it but when you put it down it actually you can't actually see the light if you go into the uh, level prefab editor you can actually turn them on just like you can with a stove like a wood stove and uh, I'll show you that in a sec but first off we're just gonna take a look at all this and they've added these really cool pumpkin plants so there's the jack-o-lantern with the light yeah, I just added a bunch for ambience, uh, so yeah, we have a nice little Halloween house here. I think it looks pretty nice, actually. I just, I don't know, it's cool when the Fun Pimps add little things to the game that uh, just make it sort of, I don't know, feel more neat. And I've decided to go with this neat orange wallpaper here, which uh, also, you can see that, um... Yeah, I just grabbed it from the paintbrush. So, just to make the house look a little bit nicer for Halloween. So, if you're doing it yourself, yeah. So now, you can get these pumpkins here. Now, these aren't, like, have, like full pumpkins. These are actually jack-o'-lanterns. I just turned on their back. So, if you want that sort of look that they just are pumpkins, just spin them around, make, make it so that no one can see them. And here's another one. Okay, so, how do you get pumpkins per se well you can find pumpkin seeds around now and with the pumpkin seeds you can then do other good stuff but you may need to find the pumpkin seed recipe now in my little cooking bookshelf here I've added a few things so we're gonna take a look at some of these you'll have this new recipe for pumpkin cheesecake pumpkin pie and pumpkin bread so, uh, we can use those guys up, and now, in theory, we know how to make these pumpkin-y delicious oh, things. There is no pumpkin spice lattes um, yet, so uh, it's a bit unfortunate that we can't... I don't think there's a pumpkin spice latte. Um, I mean, I looked it up, like everything pumpkin. No. Nip. So... If you love those, then you're going to be a little bit disappointed on that little front. But that's okay, because everything else is here. So I guess once you have the seed recipe, or you get living off the land high enough, you can take your pumpkin here, uh, find recipes, and you can make all these different things here. So pumpkin seeds are an option. You are going to need five of them to make that work. So. Let's just, I'm just going to actually grab a whole bunch. I, I was thinking I would only need a couple, but let's just take a whole bunch here. And so now, if we want, we can actually make some seeds. Boom, there we go. And yeah, so you can always just run outside, get your farm plot. Boom, there's three pumpkins from that one. And make some pumpkin seeds and just plant a little guy and it'll grow. Okay, there you go. That's how to grow the pumpkins. And we can also go and make some stuff with pumpkins. So let's figure this out. Pumpkin bread, we need the recipes, but we have the recipes. So um, looks like the localization hasn't been updated for them. That's fine. Um, cornmeal, bottled water. That makes sense for pumpkin bread. And this one is pretty complex. Uh, cornmeal, animal fat. Let's just, let me just grab all those things here. Grain alcohol, hmm. So, I guess we come over here and we could uh, start mixing up ourselves some of these foods here, so. We go over here and they are locked for me, maybe? So, I'm gonna just check to see if having read these again, they unlock, or if you actually need both things to unlock them. That would be interesting. Um. They still seem locked for me, so I'm gonna go in and buy some Master Chef. 
Okay, so it seems that to unlock it, you need to learn how to be a grandma. <laughs> no longer a bachelor, I'm now a grandma, but I am super freaking ripped so that I can make this stuff. Um, yeah, I guess you don't need to be that freaking ripped, but the stronger you are, the better the chef you are. And uh, I suppose you'd need to be level three to get to grandma level strength to make pie. Okay, so, I mean, I guess we have the things in my inventory now. So this guy is the egg, the pumpkin, the cornmeal, the fat, all those good things. That's the pie, yeah. Okay, so I got myself a campfire because I'm betting we have to be in here to make it. Can't just mix them up, like get a, you know, a bread mix or anything on the side there. Cooking pot required for that one. Okay, let's just look up all the pumpkin ones specifically for you guys. Cooking pot, cooking pot. So you can make these pretty early on in the game, so that's pretty sweet. Okay, great. Jack-o-lantern requires a candle. I wonder if I craft one by myself, if I can make one. We'll try that uh, as well. So, pumpkin bread. Um, we have no fuel, so let's just fuel our fire. Was well, starting with the pumpkin pie, let's get that going. So, 36 seconds on that one. That one's not too bad. Let's make a cheesecake. 26 seconds. And the bread, 24 seconds. Great. Let's let those cook up and grab a candle. Okay, and done. <laughs> In the oven, we have already baked up a whole bunch from the past already so let's just grab those out and in the fridge we've also stored a couple of these ones here and also there's a just happened to be a blueberry pie the owner was so gracious to leave us one let's just compare that to these pumpkin pies and take a little bit of a look here so you have the pumpkin pie or the, the blueberry pie and you can hover over that does nothing so let's just take a look here 45 22 4 45 22 4 45 22 4 Okay, so they're all the same, and that's fine. And that is also 45, 22, 4. Now, um, so saying that all those are equivalent, I mean, these two cost pretty much an identical amount, but the pumpkin bread is far cheaper, I think, unless it uses more cornmeal. Let's just double check that. So technically, the pumpkin bread will be the cheapest thing for you to make. It's got just one cornmeal, like all these other ones, but of course, eggs and animal fat. But, I mean, eggs and animal fat, like, I often have a lot of extra ones, but people do tend to make bacon and eggs out of them, so it will be, you know, it's not too hard to get this stuff to make it. All right, so. Mmm, yum, 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 yum. So good. Okay. Crafting the jack-o'-lantern. Let's just see. I got rid of all the other ones that I grabbed from the creative menu in hopes that when I craft my own, it will be one that uh, is actually going to stay on. I don't know, though. No. Now, you may be asking, hey, what happens if you just put a land claim block down? Well, I already have a land claim block here, and it says it's active, doesn't look broken, so maybe they're planning an update, I, I don't know, I didn't see anything on the release notes from it, so, um, yeah, that's pretty much that. In the daytime, we can just take a quick look at them outside here, let's throw it right into the daylight. There you go, instead of the witching hour, we now have it at noon nice and bright and uh, yeah i really like these plants like they look really good um planted some more over here as well like around the tree they just add like a really cool little i don't know ambience to the game looks really neat all right let's just go over to the level prefab editor and then i'll show you that one of the cool things about seven days to die is they've done a bunch of victorian looking houses that basically look like you could turn them into haunted houses pretty easily so if you wanted one on your server for halloween not very tricky to do. Instead, all the details that make it look like Halloween, and you should be good. All right, so let's place this pumpkin here like that. And here you can actually see that it does turn on or off. It's the same as the stove. This might crash my game. Um, when I was testing, it did. So who knows? But the stove, too, is very similar like that. So... 
Um, that should work for you. Now, just to show you in the other game, yeah, see, crashes in here. I'm sure Fun Pimp will fix that up, but just keep that in mind. Okay, back over to our spooky ambience. Uh, if we just put a battery bank down here, put some batteries into it, like so, grab our wiring tool. I just wanted to make sure that this didn't work, because I know people will ask. Um, looks like you cannot attach it to that thing whatsoever. So, there you go guys, it just does not work. Alright guys, that's all I know about these pumpkins and such for now. I will put anything I learn uh, into the description down below, maybe a pinned comment. And yeah, hopefully we can figure out a few more things. Maybe the fun pimps need to do a little bit more work. We'll see. But anyway, it does increase the Halloween ambience. And so, if you like the video, hit that like button. And if you know people who like Halloween a lot, please share with them. Let's get some cool Halloween prefabs and stuff built up. Anyway, if you want to learn more about 7 Days to Die, hit that subscribe button. And I will see you in another video. Bye-bye.